trying to get the lighting right. Uh, so, yes, the eclipse at 29 Aries. Um, what has, what I had an, an, uh, a thought about is um, ha the quality that we have in us, which is both positive and negative, you know, um, and so that's what I'm been going through is just, you know, there's a lot of negativity, I guess, and it's um, not anybody's business as to why that is um, spewing out, really, you know. Um, I could explain it probably as you're going through something personal, you know, and with the darned eclipse, everybody has has something. Okay, so it, it lights up everybody's personal mastery or failure. You know, kind of struggles, challenges, fears. That's what the Aries vibe is, is kind of cut and dried that way. Uh, so, just making this video to um, to kind of illuminate in the minds of people who think that they are Puritans and it's just um, it's all positivity when the reality of it is is that the more negativity you can I was going to say absorb the you know the more you the more you look at it it means that you you're you have expanded the other side into a amazing, shimmering, golden positivity. And and I didn't just say, well, did I just, did I just say that? Now you have a smiley face on your, and everything is, is a fairy tale around you, and everybody can deal with you uh, because you have mastered both sides. No. It's just now you have a potency, per perhaps, and it, you know, it, with both of those things going on, it probably doesn't feel normal or look normal. And then, of course, there's the story behind the negativity, or or the story that comes out of the negativity, and then there's the story behind the positivity, and, and the or the the um, story that comes out of the positivity, it's, it's expression. And, and to me, like, this was yesterday when I kind of reflected on this, I thought, you know, and that's obvious, and how immature everybody would be, narcissist, to just pin the negative sides to you, and they can't seem to Take both as equal. Say, so just take it both as one. Just say, oh, here's the season of. Really, it's the darkness before the dawn. <laughs> but why? Why does it have to be beforehand? It's like, did you know they're both there? <laughs> kind of whatever it is that that you're having a trouble looking at. It's there whether you look at it or not. You know. What I like is just this process we're going through astrologically. That's what astrology points at. It's like, by the way, can you feel the um, the way that you're 
affected by, say, the financial arena? Are you affected or are you not affected? How are you, how are we going to? It's not, it's not you, really. I mean, it is, but it isn't. There's a collective thing happening which isn't necessarily you, especially, you know, that's um, the trick of society. You know, you are an individual, and that's what's really going on, is that there's individuals standing next to each other. There isn't any society. Are they standing next to each other? You know, I have to um, pipe up about some things. You know, I'm doing some volunteer work, and then they want a certain some, some, some information. It's like, well, I can't give you that information because I don't live that way. For the last 10 years, I used donations to take care of some things. And, and they want a card that says, well, who's your insurance? And I'm like, well, um, I've always used just money. I've always just given cash. And uh, there is something I need to take care of now. And I'm, I'm trying to work on donations to get that taken care of, topical skin problem. And, you know, they want, um, it's just I'm in the middle of um, switching over. And so I, I don't want to make a big self-sabotaging deal about it. You know, that's... My personal lesson with this darn um, Mars, you know, the, the Mars <laughs> in Cancer. I don't know if any of you have been feeling, been going through this amazing, see, the, the trauma that can be very just, it's blindsiding when you begin to experience your own perception. Perception. Maybe, maybe say you're just waking up to some harsh truths about yourself or something. Then it's possible for a numbness to happen, like a shutdown, you know, and then communication stops or something. Huh. <sighs> Having said that, boy, you know, of course I'm absolutely sorry and saddened by that. Um, I didn't pass the very good test with Mars squaring my Mars and everything. I, I um, but but see now I'm looking off the, to, to the distance, saying, well, that's the negativity, and that's me saying going like this and, and being numbed by pain. But what if there is a bigger plan for me that I just can't see? And whatever happened was divine. You know, the reason why I act, you know, intu intuitively. And I've done it long enough. See, this is a very uh, trippy time for us all. Can we even trust our own... Um, our own tower moment, like say, okay, well, you know, um, burning bridges or whatever you're, we're doing, it doesn't mean it's um, at all that it's permanent, really. See, this is the, well, the narcissist is just, <laughs> uh, like you, some people know here, is is always on the downward spiral. It's, all, it's like, eh, you reach, you don't reach boom, and then hit a plateau, and we're not getting mature and growing, it's, uh, it's hard to, uh, see, I'm an, a super sensitive empath kind of person, with my dark, dark, amazingly, dark, it's terrible, you know, the, the empath can get very, it's terrible, it's horrible, it's horrific, there's where the narcissist is in trouble, because, well, if you consider, okay, so the narcissist lived in hell in their head, and, and the empath is working the truth, you know, in reality, and it's kind of a magical world, you know, and it's and easy peasy, you know, it's like, God, no, people do not like uh, others who live kind of escaping the weight of the mind. So then um, they, uh, I was on a train of thought here, I don't like to talk about it, but it's, it's just like, it's kind of like a, a fairy tale in heaven, you know, or hell. So the empath just has the power to pull the narcissist out of hell easily. And so, but the narcissist, as you know, is in this amazing control issue and does certain things out of insecurity in order to maintain the relation, the situationship. Like, like it's like, 
<laughs> so then, um, um, after a while, it's like, okay, so, you know, if the bat, if that's the battle and you want, you know, just, I can send you back to hell by just pushing you away, setting a boundary and going no contact. There you are. Back, back to hell you go. I thought we were going to evolve here. I thought, you know, so, um, that's, no, that's not a thought. It's just, that's what usually happens if, if people claim love for you, you know, that's that's a highly transformative thing. I mean, it should be. It, when you get together, you don't de-evolve each other. But that's what happens with, if you if you, if you found a, a, a malignant case, and, and I, I don't like that term. I just say if you found an impossible, um, like a, 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 che a checkmate, and you're not rec recognize it. You, you're going stale there. You're, you can't move at all. Nobody's gonna um, shove each other, sho shove one off the board and say, "This is my kingdom." Um, find another game. Uh, that's um, kind of losing my my train of thought. You know, the the whole uh, it's toxic to to. Uh, well, you see, you're you're not recognized. It's 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 that's one of the skills of of life, or I guess it's more like loving yourself is to not stay where you're unappreciated or 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 so misunderstood that you can't start from your off the place that you are in your authenticity, and and it's not perfect. Like I'm saying, there's how do we even deal with any of our negativity, our positivity. Hope this makes sense, or anybody can use this. You know, I um, I'm experiencing a lot. You can probably see it in my face, and and everybody is, and and uh, I am. I know that there's a need for com uh, conversation and communication. And my advice to people, any anybody connected to me. <laughs> Being being the Aries rising, experiencing this like oh my God, the Aries um, the Mars, in Cancer. That's see that right there. Does not make, the eclipse and the and the square, to Pluto, but mainly this eclipse that's Mars ruled. A good thing. It does not make it easy you know I don't like to insert and say well this just like suggest and create like say just this is the way your your day goes and this is this is what I do you know it's like no um well you know if you haven't noticed it's it's a very um I guess the good word it would be claustrophobic time it's like it, it's it's a it's um it's like a maze and there's only one way to start advancing from here. I mean, if you haven't noticed, it's not even a crossroads. It's like, you know, because it is the Aries and, and the, um, let alone our money and stuff. See, there's going to be another, um, <laughs> there's going to be another lunar eclipse on May 5th, which is at 14 Scorpio. And the sun is, is at 14 Taurus, which my moon is at 14 Aquarius. So enjoy this little bit of a of a window where that I I might look halfway like happy, you know, and le and I, it's been bad lately, but boy, I'm just getting slammed again. I hope I can get a breather here before this thing squares my moon. And all I've been going through with with that, I've already experienced it. It's just like, I am going... See, my relationship with money is like, well, forget money then. Forget it. See, I'm filling out this app. I told, told you, I was trying to tell you about I was filling out this application just to volunteer and do some work here and then in exchange for wood. I mean, I, now I'm thinking I don't have to go there. I can get a wood permit and work alone like I always have. Um, because, 
Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to self-sabotage or even project on it. Like, well, it's, it's just going to be the end of me doing that, you know, because because I, um, I can't tell them that I can come up with the insurance yet. See, that's where I'm in the middle of it. I'm, I'm kind of in, I am, see, it's, it's medical. I'm thinking, well, um, the reason why I, I see you guys, that's, you know, I don't, I don't have faith in the medical system like everybody else. And, and but when I have a problem or something, I've gotten do donated from beneficiaries to help uh, with things. And it hasn't been very much, really. What will come up is my teeth, right? And and what can I say? You see, you know, there's a positive and negative to having a skeletal structure here. The darn thing's going to fall apart, but it's holding you up, and it's and it's conveying the cosmos, and it's a fun experience. But it's scary. And but then you're going to smile, and then. Somebody's going to say you suck eventually, but then uh, somebody's going to say you're amazing. Will you please? And uh, what, 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 how? Oh, oh, I hope you're getting plenty of rest. <sighs> because it's hard to deal with um, the misunderstandings. Um, nobody wants to feel a relationship breaking apart and... and um, I'm getting a lot more understanding and learning a lot about the sensitivity of us all. The thing that um, a lot of people don't believe or know, and even I'm right now thinking, whatever, Shauna, heal yourself. Prove it. I'm a healer. I'm a healer. I solve. I, 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 um, I'm a smoother outer. You know, I'm a smoother you know, they talk about that. Well, the people, they can, believe it or not, you know, I'm, I'm the one will that, you know, I, I really, in person, it's hard. It's, that's easier. But boy, has it been hard, people, the past three years. And particularly, okay, so there's that Saturn and Aquarius. That worked on humanity over there. How? Sa Satan, Saturn, same thing. Put it together. You know, Satan was visiting human uh the human living room, and everybody cooled off a lot, you know, and they just didn't even talk to each other after a while. And did you notice that? And then uh, left out of the cold, maybe? Yes, and now I'm, I'm by myself. It's exciting, though. I was like, okay, scratch. Um, I'm starting from scratch. It doesn't mean that, that the the relationships that broke down aren't, now they're, they will be, see, what will happen is they'll be purged of the negativity, and then now start from scratch. Yes! <laughs> as soon as I, I kind of cut my hair a little bit, I don't know, I've been doing it all, not all my life, but really I've been starting to do it, trying to do it. I'm not very good at that, you know. Do, do I have an insurance for my hair? Barber? Does that, <laughs> barber, uh, my beautician, um, do that, does that, um, is that included, Doc? After all, aren't we supposed to be, it's better to look good to, than to feel good? I... No, no. Getting back to you, babes. Um, thanks for listening to this bit of entertainment. It's not easy. And see, the thing is, is like, life isn't easy. When it starts to get tough, the tough get going, baby. And it's like, oh, finally, like, that's what the Aries is. Did you know that? The Aries is, the Aries vibration is the one, you're going to a movie to watch a superhero or somebody who was on the edge of flames all the time and they're fucking doing all this. That's the Aries. It's like, I'm here. And, and, and they, it's like haphazard. No, look at it. They are on the edge of a cliff and they're standing there. It's that ram that stands there. And it's like, somehow we got here. Yep. Now what? Well, it's snowing. <laughs> you can't say that they, they don't have their follies and fumble, but they, you know, whatever, you know, hard head. It's just. Life is here now. Now what? You know, there's other things we're going to be looking at. We go down into the meadow. There's where, um, that's what Taurus is up to. It's like, could you get on the flat land bit? Look at these flowers, you know, and, um, continue grazing. We'll figure this out. Here comes Gemini. And Gemini does figure this out. Was that, what kind of mushroom was that that you ate? <laughs> Ay, boy. And then uh, Cancer, of course, you know the story. Says, yeah, because we're feeling great, aren't we? Mmm, stomach. Mmm. 
sensuality, feel good, feelings, every day. Uh, let's do this domestically, why don't we? And then um, Leo says, I'll make a, a, a freaking neon show about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I will get the spotlight. You know, I am the one, says whoever is the nucleus, whoever prov provides. You know, and that's kind of the, the center of the heart. Really, all of this is metaphorical, isn't it? And it's ever evolving, you know. Uh, it's a process. All of it has this negativity and positivity. The, the uh, Virgo is all about looking at that. Like it's like, do we need any of this? The the, the accumulating, um, say, negativity. You know, she would just come around and sweep it up, and and uh, definitely, it's about simplifying because that's why. Gemini, that's the square with the mutable. It's very interesting, you know, because Virgo is, thanks for listening to my, this is 21 minutes. But, you know, I, I am refining. I'm, I am a refinery. I'm, the, I'm Shauna, we, the refinery Wyatt. Uh, something, a machine that my aperture processes semi-good. <laughs> as far as I, I work for me, you know, I, I work as far as how I work and it's not going to be always a, a rhyme to everybody else, but there is a reason for reason. You know what I mean? There isn't a reason for no, no reasons for no reasoning, no reason. And you know, the, the um, way that we have an unhealthy reaction um, like it looks unhealthy we're having a very you know it's it's a healthy reaction to the to a, a, a something that's not serving that's not healthy anymore it's and um as a healer and and somebody who who just goes like this no actually we can heal this a lot of people run away, but we're going in on it. There's an understanding about, well, where are we in the process here? Um, I, it's just, it's just, I had something to say. It's just so on the edge. I, I keep, uh, it's the strangest feeling, it, it, you know. Um, but, you know, for, for, for I'm feeling a lot of remorse for the way that I haven't been able to control my reactive rea reaction. What I was talking about is that that reaction, that automatic um, lash out, like say it's defense, right? So, uh, and then look later or something. Um, you know. There, you can depend with you too, okay? So th there's a certain percentage of that that is actually a healthy reaction to a negative thing. And it just, what are you going to do? You know, Aries is funny because how else are you going to know who are your friends, right? Because the I am is here. And, and so what they do is they're just like, you know what? I'm gonna get this grenade, this grenade, and I'm gonna throw it over there, and it's over there, and now it blows up on the side of the camp or something. It doesn't hurt anybody, but it, but it's like this. Now, see, out of that whole tribe, some one of the wiser people would probably say, no, 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 don't mess around. That's just so and so. Let's go check out because they have this and I have that, and we can get together. That's probably they're wondering. I haven't really gotten. I didn't phone call them yet, you know. And that's just their way of of trying to get our attention. And uh, there's, you know, what I'm saying. There's things that can go on with that as a war tactic. You know, you see those um. Those freaking movies where, where you've seen it in real life, where where particularly men I think will do this is they'll just they'll meet when they meet each other they'll start brawling and and they and they beat each other up, right there. But then um, at the end of the night they're drinking a beer together and they're and they're playing pool and they're having a great old time. 
<laughs> they just met each other and they stayed friends for 35 years after that or something. Uh, maybe? Did I just make that up? See, it's a, it's a very unsure time for me, but at least I'm still storytelling and somebody might have learned something just now.